Hello, today we are going to learn about components of food. In this lesson, we are specifically going to learn about mineral nutrition and the deficiency diseases caused due to lack of mineral in our diet. The objectives of the lesson are this lesson will explain about various diseases caused due to deficiency of mineral in our diet and it will introduce various food sources and minerals they contain. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to prepare a list of various diseases caused due to deficiency of minerals in our diet and they will be able to identify various food sources and minerals they contain. And at the same time, they will be able to include mineral rich food in their daily diet by maintaining weekly mineral diet log. So what are deficiency diseases? Deficiency diseases are caused by the lack of certain nutrients. This disease can be treated by intaking balanced diet on a day-to-day -day basis. If the body is deficient in vitamin, we get vitamin deficiency diseases like scurvy, pellagra and rickets. And if our body is deficient in minerals, then we suffer from mineral deficiency diseases. For example, iron deficiency leads to anemia, phosphorus deficiency leads to weak bones and health. Let us observe a very small case study. There is a boy of your age named Ajay. One day, he was sitting and thinking about his own situation. He was thinking, Ah, oh, what do I always uh, feel tired of? I always feel tired of my own situation. I don't want to drink anything or drink anything. I do I then Ajay visits doctor along with his parents and he narrates everything that he is feeling like he is feeling tired, he is lacking concentration in his studies, he is always feeling irritated and he feels very weak. After listening to him, doctor checks his nail, his eyes, his skin, his mouth and then he talks to Ajay. The doctor says, It is a good thing that you are visiting me. I have heard what you have said. I see that your nails look pale. Your eyes look pale too. As you have just mentioned, you have lost weight also. My child, you have iron deficiency. From now on, you should eat rajma beans, soybean, chicken liver, chickpeas, black-eyed peas and green leafy vegetables such as spinach for one month and then visit me. Okay, I'm also writing some iron supplements for you for an immediate effect. Always eat a balanced diet. Remember this. So from this small case study, we come to know that Ajay has iron deficiency. Iron is a mineral. So he has mineral deficiency. As a result, he is suffering from anemia, which is a mineral deficiency disease. Therefore, doctor advised him to eat iron-rich food, for example, spinach, green vegetables, chickpeas, etc. So minerals and deficiency diseases. This is what we are going to learn now. There is another person who has a swollen neck area and this disease is known as goiter. It is caused due to deficiency of iodine in our diet. Then there are people who have deformed legs like this. You can see here the thigh bones are deformed, here the knees are deformed and here the entire leg is deformed. So in these three cases we find deformation in the legs and this type of disease is known as rickets. It is also caused due to 
mineral deficiency. Then you can see that a person has caries on his teeth, this black spots that we see. And this is also a disease caused due to deficiency of a mineral called fluorine and this disease is called dental caries. So here, now we are going to go through a list of minerals, the deficiency diseases they cause and their symptoms. So if we do not take enough of iron, then we suffer from a deficiency disease called anemia. That means less hemoglobin is produced in our blood. The symptoms are weakness and fatigue, loss of weight, pale skin and loss of appetite. Then if we have deficiency of iodine in our diet, we suffer from goita and its symptoms are abnormal enlargement of the thyroid gland, retarded growth and mental disability. If we have deficiency of calcium, we suffer from bone and teeth decay. Symptoms are weak bones, excessive bleeding of gums, stunted growth, tooth decay and weakness. If we have deficiency of phosphorus in our diet, the children suffer from rickets. We have just seen the pictures. And the symptoms are weakening of bones, poor development, mental retardation and retarded growth. If we have deficiency of sodium and potassium, then we suffer from body and muscle weakness and sometimes paralysis and symptoms are weak muscles and tiredness. If we have less fluorine in our diet, then we suffer from dental caries. Symptoms include pain in teeth, sensitivity to hot and cold food or drinks. These are some of the very essential minerals in our diet and if we do not take them, then we suffer from Deficiency diseases such as anemia, goiter, rickets, weak muscles, dental caries, etc. Then, if this is the situation, then what should we do? We should eat a balanced diet. Now, what is a balanced diet? A balanced diet is a diet that has all the necessary nutrients in the amount that is needed for normal body functioning. So how should a balanced diet look like? According to mayoclinic.org, these children between the age of 9 to 13, specifically girls, they should have 4 to 6 ounces of protein, 1.5 to 2 cups of fruits, 1.2 to 3 cups of vegetables, 5 to 7 ounces of grains and 3 cups of dairy depending on the physical and mental activities they do. Similarly, if we talk about the boys in the same age group, then they should have 5 to 6.5 ounces of protein, 1.5 to 2 cups of fruits, 2 to 3.5 cups of vegetables, 5 to 9 ounces of grains and 3 cups of dairy in their diet. Now, you may wonder what is 1 ounce. 1 ounce is equivalent to 28.35 grams. And what is a calorie? A calorie is a unit of energy. When you hear something contains 100 calories, let's say, it's a way of describing how much energy your body could get from eating or drinking it. Now, if we talk about the students of your age group that is between 14 to 18 and if we talk about the girls then they should have 5 to 6.5 ounces of protein 1.2 to 2 cups of fruits 2.5 to 3 cups of vegetables 6 to 8 ounces of grains and 3 cups of dairy every day and if we talk about the boys then we have this type of chart where 5.5 to 7 ounces of proteins, 2 to 2.5 cups of fruits, 2.5 to 4 cups of vegetables, 6 to 10 ounces of grains and 3 cups of dairy. So depending on your age group and most probably if you are between 14 to 18, now you have to keep a record of your daily mineral rich diet. You have to prepare a table like this. 
and then starting from Monday, start writing what kind of mineral rich food you have eaten and which mineral does it contain. And you have to keep this record for four weeks and then prepare a report. So what is the learning from this lesson? We have come to learn that we should eat vitamin and mineral rich food to stay healthy and disease free. Why? Because vitamins and minerals are protective foods. This protect our body from various diseases. Therefore, eat healthy, stay healthy and thank you.